this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a proximity key, a smart key, the XS series, the one that come in the orange uh, uh, bag. So basically what we need to do, we need to generate a proximity key, a smart key for vehicles that have a push to start. In order to start the engine, you push a button and then the engine start. Now, very important to mention that uh, not all of the keys may look like this. Some of the keys may look in a different shape. For example, like that, you see that the shape is different, but as long as it's come in the orange uh, bag, it means that it's the XS series and uh, it's the same process. Okay, so basically there is a lot of vehicle out there and many, many vehicle have different chip, different system. And for that reason, we need to the, the universal remote. It will help us a lot in the field. Okay, now uh, let's uh, look a little bit about the proximity key and the X, uh, S series, the one in the orange box. And we look at uh, some of the details here that mention. First of all, it's for cars that have a push start button, a push to start, okay? And we need to use it in this order. One, put battery first. Two, generate remote. Three, install Keyblade, only if the customer is insisting to do it. So we don't really need to do it. Most of the time when you, when you give it to a customer, they will take it because it opened the door with the remote and it start the engine because it recognized the chip that is inside the key. So you don't really need to uh, cut and put the, the blade, the key blade, but if somebody, the emergency key blade, but if a customer is insisting and you really wants it, so yeah, we, we can do it. Okay. Now, another thing, if needed, do modify button after programming, which we're going to explain at the end of this video. So let's see how we do it step by step. Okay. Let's open the, the bag. Very nice. Uh, shape of a smart key very nice feel it have okay what we need to do first let's follow the orders put battery first have a look at this okay we have the face side with the button at the back side we have this small uh, groove we take a flat head and we just lift it a little bit just a little bit to help it come out All right, that's it. Okay, I just took the cover and we're gonna take the board out. I'm gonna take the board out. Okay. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a battery. That's the battery that you need, CR2032. So let's put the battery. The way to do it is to take the battery and put it just like that. Don't put it like this. Just like that, put it all the way inside. Just like that. When you're gonna flip it, now you can check and you see that there is light, okay? That means that you put the battery correctly, it have power, okay? Next, what we need to do, we need to put it back the correct way in the, in the, make sure it goes all the way. So you see this uh, silicone white, it needs to sit inside, not, uh, not outside. So if you put it the wrong way, it will not gonna sit inside. So make sure you put it inside the right way. Okay, once you did it, you, you close the plastic. Now the way to do it is not from here, it's actually from here, and you wanna clip it. Just like that. Okay, just like that. All right. Just like that. Okay, now you see that the light is on. Okay, next what we need to do, we need to turn the mini key tool on. Okay, we turn it on. And as you can see, the Bluetooth, we have X next to the Bluetooth, so uh, it's not connected yet. The way to connect it, have a look, is to press on select on the application and press on the device. We hear the two beeps. Now the X changed to V, so it's connected. We can also see the battery uh, and the percentage of the battery right here. So that means that right now it's connected. 
Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, here and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, here and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step, it's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video, it's that easy. To find out more, go to www.laxmitvideosonline.com Okay, so let me zoom a little bit in. So let's say for this example, we would like to... And by the way, this can fit to so many vehicles. You can actually choose a lot, a lot of vehicles that have a push to start and it will actually burn the... and generate the smart key for it. So basically what you need to do, you need to press here on vehicle remote. And right now you just choose the vehicle that you want, that you are working on. So there are so, so many different types. Um, in this example, let's just do, let's say we, we need to get a GMC. Let's go down. Let's say we need the GMC. Actually, let's go back, not GMC. Let's take a different one. Let's take, for example, Infinity. Okay, let's go to Infinity. And you can choose either one here based on what you need to 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 burn the to create the a proximity key. Now, if you go into the field, it's a little bit different, uh, hard to find which is the correct one because they all look the same. So what you can do, you can press on close at the top. I'm gonna close it, and then you have right here all of them by the by the model. So let's say we need to do infinity um, x60 and this is the right one that we need. So let's press on it. Okay. So right now it gives you some information of the key. Okay. And what do we need to do? We need to generate this proximity key to here. So what do we need to do? We need to take the proximity key and we need to put it somewhere in the middle okay somewhere in the middle now sometime you will have to play with it a little bit up or maybe upside down play with the angle until it will find and burn the chip inside the proximity key and we need to do generate press on generate now it says detecting it's trying to detect in the chip okay sending Okay, just hold it like that, okay? Some vehicle take faster than others. Just gonna wait. All right, almost done. Okay, now it's writing again. Now it's the remote program. Just keep holding it, make sure you don't move it. And by the way, if it didn't start for you, what you need to do is just play with the angle of the key and hold it maybe a little bit uh, in a way that the uh, machine, the machine will recognize the chip. So just hold it, I'm gonna wait a little bit. All right, almost done. Just make sure it's uh, writing you successful. As you can see, remote program burns success. I'm gonna press complete. And basically that's it. Right now you can go to the vehicle, we just burn this uh, 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 smart kit to this 
ה-Universal uh, Smart Key, and now you can go to the vehicle and program the key. Again, if the customer is insisting, you will have to take this out and put here the blade of his key, his car, and then put emergency uh, key. Of course, using this um, blade. But right now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take it to the vehicle and you're gonna program the smart key. You're gonna program the smart key and then you will be done. Now, another thing that is important to mention, another thing that is important to mention, as you can see right now, in this uh, smart key, we have four buttons. Have a look. We got lock, unlock, trunk and we have a, a panic panic is when you press it and we the car is start a, a, the alarm so you can find it maybe in a parking lot or with a place that place that is crowded okay where you park it now a lot of people don't use it and some of them will prefer to have this one as a, a start engine you know the when you press it it can start the engine so we can modify we can change the buttons here how do you do it? And by the way, I will show you now and it will not gonna work. The reason that is not gonna work because this key, well, we just burned the, the smart key inside, but it's not programmed yet. And because of this, it's not gonna work because it's not programmed yet, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in case you need to. Okay, so how do you do it? At the bottom here, it says modify button distance. Okay, modify button distance. We're gonna press on it. And right now we're going to put it inside and we're going to press read. Okay, read successful and it gives you some uh, numbers. Locks is, lock is 08, trunk is 01, unlock is 04, and panic is 02, and start is 00. Okay, every car it will be different. It's not the same for every car. So you will have to pay attention each car, what is it? So it's just let you know that the lock is 08, we don't want to change it. The trunk, we want. So we want the lock, we want the trunk, and we want the unlock. So we don't want to change them, okay? What we do want to change is the panic. The panic is the red button to the start. We want to change the panic to the start. In this vehicle, we can see that the panic is 02 and the start is 00. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to flip them. We're going to have to write on the panic 00, zero and on the start 02, okay? Every car, it will be different. So you're going to have to make sure to check every car what it says. So in this vehicle, we don't want to change the lock, trunk, and unlock, but we do want to change the 02 to 00 zero and 00 zero to 02. Zero we want to flip them. So in the panic, we want to have 00, zero, and in the start... Zero 02. So let's press on the panic. We're going to change it to zero, zero, and press OK. And on the start, zero, two, press OK. And right now we're going to press right. Now, I'm telling you it's not going to work because uh, this is not programmed yet. So I just explain you how you need to do it. So now basically we just change it to uh, whenever the customer will press on the red, it will start his engine in case he have this function in his car. Okay, so press right. And as you can see, it says pram error again. And the reason that it says error is that because this is not programmed yet. I'm just showing you how to do it. Of course, if you're gonna take it to the vehicle, you're gonna program it. After you program it, you can modify the button. You can modify the button, okay? Modify the button, okay. Now, basically you program it, you give the key, to the, the, it, uh, the key to the customer. Let's say the customer is telling you, hey, uh, most of the customer will not gonna want the emergency key. They will not gonna care about it so much. Okay, the emergency key is in case the battery of the remote goes dead, they can open the vehicle with the emergency key, which we don't have it because we didn't install it yet, okay? But let's say somebody, a customer telling you, hey, I really want it, blah, blah, blah. So let's install one, okay? How do we do it? 
you go and you take the one that is correct one. I'm just gonna take a random now uh, for now. Let's take a Nissan one actually, because we just did a Nissan. Let's take one, it doesn't matter really which one. This is just for this example. You take the right one based on the vehicle that you need. I'm just gonna show you how to install it. Okay, of course, you take it from the, from the key blade sets, of course, that come with the, with the set. Okay, you take the correct one, and then you take a pin, a pin, and you take this out. You press on this button and you take it out. Okay, then you take the, you take the blade and make sure you put it like this, not like that. Okay, if you're gonna put it like that, let's see. it will block part of the room for the pin. And if you're gonna put it like that, this groove is especially for the pin. We're gonna put it like that, and we're gonna take the pin, and we're gonna screw it just a little bit. It's not gonna screw in, but we just need to catch it. So you screw it one turn, just one turn, just like that, just to catch it. And then you take a plier, you open it, and you put it inside. Now, as you can see right now, it's inside, but some of it is sticked out. So you take it and you make sure to put it all the way, all the way. So it's gonna be flush, okay, all the way. Okay, all the way. And now, of course, you go and you need to cut the blade in your key machine. You test it on the vehicle. And that's it, after you program it, you give it to the customer. And basically that's it. This is how, and by the way, you can, uh, uh, this is reusable. So if, uh, if you decide to change it to a different vehicle, you can keep using it and burn as many as you want because the chips inside are reusable. So even after you create one, let's say the customer found the key and suddenly tell you before you finish that he found the key, don't throw it away you can still use it on a different vehicle, okay? So basically that's it. That's how you generate a smart key, a proximity key using the VVDI mini key tool and the application. And basically you can do it for a lot, a lot of vehicle, a lot of vehicle, very, very important tool. It will help you in the field a lot. And basically that's it for this video. Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily Easily, and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, here and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, here and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step. It's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video. It's that easy. To find to find out more, go to www.laxmithvideosonline.com.